Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. I have a lovely guest for all of you. I'd love for her to introduce herself, her first and last name and the name of her brand. Hi, I am Haley Stamper and I am my brand. <laughs> Hey, we are so excited to have you here. So excited to have you here. If people are following you, fanning and liking you, what kinds of things can they find, you know, associated with your brand? Yes, I'm all about evolving, evolution, self-evolution. So you're going to see me just being honest, real, talking about how it is to grow as a mom, as an entrepreneur, and all the different ways. Oh, I absolutely love that. Yes. As a female out there, there are, I mean, I'm a fellow entrepreneur myself, I'm a fellow mother. There are so many different prongs of our lives. Is that that's just the case? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. So many <laughs> hats. And it's like they all start to, you start to wear them at the same time. And it is what it is. And I think that that, I mean, a lot of people ask, they say, you know, is there balance? Is there not balance? I'm like, we're doing the best we can with whatever given time that we have. But what we love about your brand is that you show, you know, the authenticity of the life in which you're living. How important yes. is it for you to be authentic? Oh, it's so important. And that's when I just realized that, you know, what truly is just a an evolution. Like it really is just, there's no end goal. There's no getting to the final destination. And so being real and honest and sharing that, I think really was something I needed at points in my life. And I'm really very important to me to show that. Oh, I love that. I love yeah. that. And there's a number of different, again, stages within this evolution, right? And I think yeah. a lot of folks think that they need to remain the same when they began their blogger journey, that they are at the end of their blogger journey. But it sounds like you've embraced, you know, every stage of your life. Is that true? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I went through some struggles in my own life where I just really had to get real with like, okay, you know, take ownership of your life and realize that we are ultimately in charge of how it goes and just really step fully into that, that ownership. Oh, I love this. Yeah. I absolutely love this. And taking control of your own story. And I, you know, we talk a lot on the show about personal branding, you know, and you being your own personal brand and what that looks like and what you choose to share with the world and controlling what yes. some people call a narrative or some people call your story in allowing people in in a controlled way. We love how gorgeous your brand is and the ability for us to be able to follow you on this authentic journey. What types of things do can we find like specifically or are we like really diving into motherhood? Are we diving into fashion, food? Tell me the kinds of things we can find. When mainly we business. So mainly business coaching, but helping people. But you know, it's, I work a lot in the emotional realm, especially with women. It's just, I found myself and I find with my clients that like, we don't really know what thoughts are going on in our mind. We can't really catch some of those. We have 70,000 plus thoughts a day going on. And so we, but we can feel the emotions, right? Like we know if we're upset or stressed or whatever, you know, happy, like you can feel so navigating by way of really owning your feelings and using that to shift into energy and alignment. So I talk a lot. I'm a little bit woo-woo, but I'm very no. practical too. There is nothing to apologize about being woo-woo. Yeah. I mean, I think that I think we all need a little bit more of that. I think yes. that the ability or we've been conditioned to feel as if we cannot feel. And that yes. is very paralyzing, right? Like, yeah. You can't feel anything. That wasn't supposed to hurt. That wasn't supposed to be uncomfortable. That wasn't. So, so you end up feeling nothing. And it sounds yeah. like you really help your clients in this accountability of Absolutely. what it is that they're feeling. Is that right? Yeah. And, and to, to be okay feeling the feelings. I mean, for the longest time, I always thought some like their feelings were happening outside of me, yes. you know, and it's like I couldn't control it. And I was on this roller coaster and I'm like, what's wrong with me? And now it's like, to really understand that, wait a minute, emotions are part of it. It's totally normal, natural. They're just indicating what you're focusing on and what you're aligned with. So whether it's thoughts or actions. So yeah, I do a lot of work just helping women become comfortable with their emotions and then actually using them. Yes. Oh my guidance. goodness. I think it's so important because I think for so often you're encouraged to not address them at all or, you know, really hide them or find them in that deep place that we don't address, we don't talk about them. Those that are considered strong aren't addressing, you know, their shortcomings or their failures or their falls. And it sounds like you really allow for them to use these trials and tribulations as their superpower. And I love that. Yeah. And that's where it's like, it, I do business coaching, but really it's so much more about just empowering your story, where you've been, your feelings, and then just building something that aligns with that. Because I feel like their business, what does that even mean? There's so many different ways you can take it. And it's just finding that inner calling and putting it all together. So 
just like you said, right before we started this, you're like, I do what I love every day. And I'm like, that's what everybody should be doing, you know? And I think that people don't equate their business with their own personal emotions and their personal journey. They're like, oh, I sell lotion. And so how can my emotions affect me selling lotion? But it's never about the lotion. It's always about the story and the person behind the brand. And I, oh, absolutely. Because they got into selling lotion for something. Something appealed to them, some sort of freedom, or they aligned with the mission. Like there's an, always a deeper story underneath what you're doing. I, I just really it. own that. It's so important. Ah, and I want more yeah. people to own their story and learn more about you and work with you, whether they're an entrepreneur or just follow you to get inspired. I think that you have all of that authenticity that people need out there, especially today. So if people want to follow you, if they want to get in touch, if they want to learn more about all that you have to offer, where would they find that information? Instagram. I spend a lot of time on Instagram. So Haley underscore Stamper. Um, HaleyStamper.com is my website. So pretty much just put in my name and you'll find me. But uh, yeah, that's where I spend most of my time. I've been playing around on TikTok a little bit too, but... Me too. I'm trying. I am trying. Me too. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know either. I don't know. (laughs) I'll find you on there. I don't know either. We are doing our best to be able to figure it out. More ways that we can connect with our community. I'm so happy that you were able to join me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. This was so fun. Guys, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. You must follow, fan, and like my new friend. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Cheldon Barlett-Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.